oldest. Touched bourbon. Oldest. Touched bourbon. Oldest. Touched bourbon. You're not from around here, are you? You can take a look. Are you anything like us and get into random weird conversations? This time, we started getting into a conversation about what happens to bottles that don't get sold. The ones that sit on the shelf, get overlooked. I mean, do they go to the Island of Misfit Bottles? Do they get sent back to the state, the distillery, what? Instead of sitting there and going down the rabbit hole, we decided to jump in the truck and find out for ourselves. In Ohio, we're fairly certain they get sent to close out stores because the, Ohio is such a regulated state, but we are close enough to Indiana and Kentucky, so we decided to go there and see what happens to theirs. We are on a mission to find the dustiest bottle in the store. And if that's not bourbon, we are also on a mission to find the dustiest bourbon in the store. When I say the dustiest, I don't necessarily mean the dirtiest. I mean the one that's been there the longest. So first stop is Whitey's Wine and Liquor in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Let's go in and find out what they got. No, no children allowed. <laughs> You can't come in here. a good flame of whiskey Okay. Okay, we have someone that's about to show us the perfect bottle. It's a maraschino liqueur, so think maraschino cherry. So it's an Italian product. They make some of them. We have their cherries. A jar this big. Oh yeah, we've tried their cherries. Yeah, it's like $23 for that bottle. It's not very big. But it's an import. I see this every day, and nobody has ever bought it. <laughs> okay. We're gonna try that. Yeah, for sure. We can. I can ask Kathy, my coworker over here. Yeah. Well, what's what's and what about bourbon? You is have any? The oldest. Touched bourbon. Yeah. Is there is there one that nobody buys? Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep them pretty clean, so we couldn't tell what for the dust. Yeah. Um, There's. Uh, Slipknot whiskey, you guys familiar with Slipknot? The metal band, like hard, heavy. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, that's their whiskey. It doesn't get sold a lot. Have you tried any? No, but I do want one because two of their members just died. Oh, okay. I was worried it was going to fly off the shelf and be gone after they died. That redneck Riviera, that redneck, yeah, Riviera down there, you only get a few people that ask about. That's the only reason we even carry it. So mm -hmm. that one really never gets sold. Got to get the smorgasm. Come on. You bought stuff that doesn't sell. <laughs> so I've never bought it. I have no idea. So our next stop is Poor House Bottle Shop. It's right over there. We're getting ready to go inside and see what they've got as far as dusty bottles and which ones have been on the shelf for the longest. Who knows? You you, you never know what we could drum up. Hey, okay, how's, how's it going? Good. I'm going to try the Yellowstone. I have tried plenty of Hard Truths flavored whiskey, but I have not seen a lot of their like straight bourbon whiskey. This is Double Oak Smoked Barrel, Hard Truth Henry Snipes. It's aged for four years. It's got a good price of $58, so I don't know. Interesting. Let me know if putting that back was a mistake. It almost doesn't matter what's in it at that point. <laughs> I mean, almost. Look at this. That's the one that I was looking at. Yeah. Silver. Oh, it's got all three. It's got silver, Reposado, and Anejo in there. A little bit of everything for everybody. I'm gonna have to tell these bourbon distilleries to step up their game. Look at that. I'm not seeing any Jaguars with whiskey in it.
Is that what we need? <laughs> Maybe looking for good bottle, right? Yes. We want to know what bottle's been in here the longest. Which one can't you get rid of or have to keep working around? <laughs> uh, it's hard to tell about that because we sell most of everything very quick. <laughs> so it is editing day here at the camp. And just like always, when we go to edit one of our videos, we always seem to find a surprise. Today's surprise is that all of the great footage we shot inside of Poor House Liquors, where the gentleman running it took us around, answered a bunch of questions. We had a great conversation with him. All of the footage is gone. Not sure if the camera failed or Rocky fat fingered it. He was the one holding the camera, but you know, I'm not saying, but I'm not not saying it either. We didn't get any of that footage for you. Fortunately, we did come home with this. It's a 12 year old bottle of scotch. It's the Aaron Malt Scotch. The gentleman running the store told us that it had been there for as long as he could remember. He couldn't give us a time frame. From the dates on the bottle, it looks as if it could have been there for as long as 15 years. Either way, it is exactly what we were looking for. So we had to rescue it from the Island of Misfit Bottles, get it off that poor, lonely, dusty shelf and bring it back here to the camp. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are in Kentucky now, and we are going to our first stop here in this state, Holiday House Liquors in Newport, Kentucky. liquors um, it's a great store had a pretty nice selection uh, a couple bottles that I don't always see in Ohio so that, that was nice to see those there but we asked around and there's just not a whole lot that's been sitting on the shelves for a while so um, it's a great problem for a liquor store to have next stop party source let's go see if they got any dusties Found some Moonlight Mayhem Extended Cut. It's about $75. It's a cask strength straight bourbon whiskey, a saga of werewolves and bourbon. So I think we found the celebrity bourbon section. However, man, this thing looks so cool. I don't know. I can't necessarily just fall in love with a with a label. So Alan Jackson, John Rich, Metallica. Yeah, Slipknot. Slipknot. <laughs> More Metallica. Joe, Joe Lewis. Lewis. Doc Holliday. I don't think he's actually sponsored. <laughs> Bacon bourbon. I feel like I'm gonna regret falling in love with just a label, so I'm gonna put this one back. You let us know if that was a mistake. Got on a kick to try to find the dustiest, oldest bottle that just, you don't even know why it's here. Morgan, what's the <laughs> dustiest, oldest bottle that never sells that we have? 
Out of anything. Like out of anything. Yeah. Well, in the middle of a remodel, everything's a little bit. Maybe the Richard Hennessy that nobody applies uh. for $5,000. <laughs> so Morgan, and what's your name? Clark. 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 Nice to meet you. Pleasure. So where's this, where's this old gin? Let me speak. It's got dust on it. It does. <laughs> it tells you. All right. We're going to take it. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. Oh, they it. got a Castle and Key gin, too. We don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. I'm grabbing this indigo, indigo strawberry flavored gin for my, my daughter. She recommended it and wanted me to try it. I've heard that it turns pink when it comes in contact with citrus, so... It's one of those magical liquors. <laughs> Am I nuts? I think I, I might have a problem here. Coffee liqueur. This is definitely more my speed. Espresso shot. We got sucked in by the coffee. <laughs> you guys gotta clear the whole area out there. Yeah. And restock at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you for coming in. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We are always on the lookout for that dusty old bottle that got forgotten in some corner somewhere. So put your favorite drink in a glass and go join us on our other videos right over there. And we'll see y'all back here at the camp. Come on, right over there. What are you still doing here? <laughs>